Welcome to episode 24 of the tutorial series Live Wire 3 from Scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, I would like us to just learn how to write JavaScript code inside our Live Wire class. And uh, this is what you'll be able to do. So we have a submit button here inside our component. I've called it JS component. It's just a name. And inside this uh, view, we have a button with a click handler to a method called save. I want us to open the LiveWire class and see what we have inside there. So inside this LiveWire class, we have the render method and we have the save. So when we click that button, of course, this method is the one that is going to be called. And what I want us to do is to be able to do something that is JavaScript. So I can be able to just do an alert. So we can say this js if you are doing just a single line javascript function you can be able to do it like this and inside here what i'm going to do is alert and then pass in whatever it is that we are alerting so here we can say button clicked like that and then we can be able to close this with a semicolon and have it like that so if I go back to my uh, component and attempt to click the button, now you can see we are having button clicked. Sometimes you might be intent intentioned to do a little bit more than just a single line um, function or something. You can be able to render a JavaScript sort of like actually similar to whatever it is that you are doing the HTML in line. So what we are going to do, the first thing is to import the attribute. So use LiveWire attributes. And we are importing the JS attribute like that. And then, of course, we will use that attribute here. So in this case, we can have hash and then JS like that. And then after that, now we can be able to go ahead and use it here. So the way we are going to have it, we are going to have it in a similar way like we were having the uh, HTML inline. And then what we are going to have, we are going to have those uh, arrows. And then here we can have JS for JavaScript. And then we can close it with uh, JS again like that. And inside here, we can be able to pass in our alert. So in this case, in a similar way, I can be able to have alert. And we can say button clicked again, just to cause it to be a little bit different. So now if we go to our button again and attempt to click it, now we is not working. Oh, it it is working. Button clicked again. So that is okay. So if we click it, button clicked again, as you can see. All right. It is also possible for us to do a little bit of manipulation on whatever it is the properties that we have. For example, if I set a property here called title, let me just do that. Public title like that maybe set a value to it so we can say uh, this is my title we can be able to go ahead and modify this title and be able to alert it so inside here instead of having the alert button clicked again i can be able to just pass in um, the title so what we can do we can say wire wire dot title like that and once we have it like that it is still possible for us to alert now the title that we have there so if i click submit it is saying button clicked again i need to refresh such that we have the changes now you see this is my title and of course i have a typo i have it as me title like that Anyway, we can be able to still modify by adding, chaining something to this. We can be able to say dot length like that. 
let us see if it will be able to do something for us uh, we can refresh and click now you can see it's telling us the length of our text is 16 and also we can be able to have something like a to upper case like that if we save still if i'm um, to refresh when we click on it still you can see now the title is put in capital letters this is the end of the tutorial episode thank you very much for following this video tutorial up until this point if you have not subscribed to my channel i ask that you may please subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell you'll be notified whenever I, I, I upload another awesome video i also would like to ask that if you like the video you can be able to give us a thumbs up and also you can be able to share this video and engage us in the comment section thank you very much